Hey y'all, this is Cheryl and thanks for joining me for another digital scrapbooking process video. I'm going to be scrapping some photos of my husband and daughter from back in 2007 when they went to a father-daughter banquet at our church. So it's just some photos of them before they left at the house and the little wrist corsage my husband had got. Um, her for the event and I'm using a kit called My Life Right Now by JD Day Studio and Studio Basic at Sweet Shop Designs. And I'm gonna mostly be using the black and white from the kit. So I start out with this um, and the gold accents. So I start out with a bracket mat that has like a gold glittery edge then a circle of like gold foil kind of paper and then a glitter heart and I place those in three different places on the layout and then I've added some string. And <clears throat> now I've added some circle doodles to the left along with a word strip on top of the bracket mat and a little label and now I'm adding like a gray ticket which I thought kind of went along with the you know ticket theme that they would need to have for the banquet and I like the gray because it kind of brings in a little bit of Jay's shirt. Um, I could have converted these to black and white but I don't know I just wanted to remember the color of her dress and um, her little purse that she had, which I thought was so sweet. Uh, you can see it on her arm and the two photos over to the left. So now I'm just adding some stamps that are in the kit and some stitching on top of the photos. Now I'm going to add some glitter and I do end up changing it, it later. I leave the glitter but it's on the wrong layer. It's above the string so I end up moving it later when I add my journaling to below the string. Then I use these two frames just as almost kind of like photo corners to just pull the page together. And then I use these little arrows pointing towards the center of the page, one on the left, one on the right. Then I'll play around here because I'm not sure what size of photo mat I'm going to use, but I do end up scratching that, bringing in the paper again, and cutting a shorter strip, almost like, you know, the width of a wide ribbon, but uh, probably a little bit wider than that but I like how that ended up and I like the gradient effect that's on the piece of paper so I just rotate this so it looks like one continuous piece of paper just gonna move that and that's just gonna kinda ground the page a little bit I like this little camera so I'm going to add it and at the end I do cover up the pink heart with a duplicated glitter heart because uh, I just didn't like the pink. Another cute little bow. I just added one on those, uh, added a bow on another layout so I must be going into a bow phase and as well as my word strip phase. So now I'm adding um, this little folded over ribbon just behind um, the black flower over to the left. And then I'm kind of balancing out the gray by pulling this gray ticket over to the right. 
it's like a tag actually and it'll balance out the ticket that's on the left and then one more piece of gray is just this little tab I added to the top and there are just some cool pieces um, in this kit I like the um, notebook paper it looks it's been torn out of a notebook and here you can see here this is when I am covering up the pink and I could have added um, I could have actually selected it and changed the color that way but I liked having another little pop of gold there I like that gold part And so here's where I decide to mat the solid paper. It's something I've been doing quite a bit lately. I'm just making sure that those are lined up and make sure they're a little bit bigger. And now I'm just um, fitting that. So there's just a little striped edge. And I like how that looks. And then I'm just going to move um, the whole piece up a little bit because I didn't like that bottom photo hanging off the white matte paper. And that's going to be it. I'll add my journaling and date off camera. And here you'll see the completed layout. The double page. And then the left and right sides. Mm, she was such a sweet little girl. She's 19 now. <sighs> Time flies. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks as always for joining me. If you uh, like it, be sure to give me a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and happy scrapping.